Hello, welcome to Deborah's Tutorials. Today I'm doing a tutorial on a removable ice topper using an acrylic blank. I'm going to brand this one so I created my design, I printed it out, now I'm going to add it to the acrylic blank. First I need to remove the film that is on top of the acrylic blanks. There's one on each side that you'll need to remove. Now these blanks that I bought did not say that they were sublimatable. I actually didn't think about branding the blank until after I had already ordered them. And when I went back to Amazon to try to find a sublimatable ones, I could not find them. So I'm going to try branding this one anyway. I added my design. Now I'm going to take it over to the heat press. I'm going to be pressing this one at 385 degrees and we're going to press this for 60 seconds. And 60 seconds is up. I'm going to take it out and immediately place it in front of my fan and I'm going to sit a weight on top of it to keep it from bending. When the acrylic gets hot it tends to bend so that's why I'm doing that. I'm then going to place it in a bucket of water or a bowl of water and the reason why I'm doing this is because the paper does stick that is normal so I soak it to loosen the paper up and now I'm going to remove the paper and I was actually surprised that it actually did work and actually turned out pretty good So now I'm going to start with the topper. Of course, I need the acrylic blank that I just made with my logo on it. I also need my lid for my 20 ounce tumbler. I need to remove the slider. So on this one, it has two little clamps you just press in that remove the slider easily. I need magnets. These are new magnets that I bought. These are the 10 by one. So they're not as um, thick in height as the other ones. I didn't want the topper to set up so high. So I bought the thinner ones this time. Of course, you need your UV resin. You need glue sticks. The last time I had short glue sticks and I went through them pretty fast. So I bought some long ones this time. I needed my little tweezers to help set my ice. And I had my hot gun. These are my bigger ice cubes. And these are my smaller ice cubes that I use as fillers. They work excellent for fillers for filling in the gaps. I have my UV light to cure the UV resin. And this is the actual tumbler that this topper is going to be going on. They just want ice on top of this one, so this one will not um, have any fruit on it. I also need my drill. The drill is used to drill the hole in the acrylic blank for my straw. So now I'm lining up the little hole that's already in the acrylic blank with where I want my straw to go. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to mark the acrylic blank where I need to drill. Now going to take my drill and we're going to drill a hole for the straw. Now going to make sure that my straw fits. So oh, gotta find a straw. And 
and as you can see the hole is not quite big enough so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I need to buy a bigger drill bit but right now this is what I have so I'm going to have to make it do what it do. I'm really just putting it in and working it around the sides trying to make the hole a little bit bigger. think that should work right there. Straw fits and we're good. So now I'm just lining up the straw hole. Get on this one. I want the magnets to be on the side that the brand shows clearly where you can read it. So I'm going to place three dots of UV resin on here. I'm going to place one on each side and one directly above the straw hole all the way at the top. And this is where I'm going to place my magnets that are going to be attached to the acrylic blank. And these magnets are strong, so you have to watch it because they will attach to each other like this one just did. So I'm now trying to pull them apart. Not that much room up there. These magnets are strong, so they'll tend to gravitate towards each other. So it might be a little tricky. That UV resin doesn't help because it helps them slide a little bit easier. So now that I have them set, I'm gonna grab my lamp. And I'm going to cure these for about 60 seconds. All right, 60 seconds is up. Our magnets are now attached and secured to the blank. Now what I should have did, I should have scored the acrylic blank first to make sure um, that the UV resin has something to grab onto. I spilled a little bit on top of the magnet, so I'm clearing that off now. Now I'm going to line it back up on the lid. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take my Sharpie and mark where I want the magnets for the lid to be placed. Now I'm going to place three dots of UV resin on the dots that I made from the Sharpie. And then I'm going to take my magnets and attach them to the magnets that are already attached to the lid. This step is important because you have to make sure that you placing the right side of the magnet up. If you take the magnets and place them onto the lid first without testing it, you run the risk of placing the magnets on the wrong side. So when you go to attach the lid, instead of attracting, they're going to push away from each other because they're not on the right side. So that is why I attach them to the magnets that are already attached to the lid first to make sure I don't make that mistake. Now I'm going to clear these and I'm going to cure these for about 60 seconds as well.
60 seconds is up. The magnets are now attached to the lid and to the blank. Now, like I said, these magnets that I purchased this time or I'm using on this one are much thinner than the ones that I used on the last topper that I did. So this mat, this topper is going to sit very flush to the top. You really won't have any gap in between. So now I'm taking the alcohol to clean off the Sharpie marks that I made on the inside of the lid. I just sprayed a little bit of alcohol on there and now I'm wiping off the Sharpie marks. I'm now going to sit the acrylic blank back inside the top to make sure that when I layer the ice in there I'm not layering it to where it won't fit down in there. I want to take my hot glue and we're going to set the base. I used the smaller ice cubes for the base. just going to start layering ice if I can get this hot glue to come out now the very first topper that I did I used UV resin for the whole thing um, to be honest with you, I like the hot glue method better. I just take little dots and I use those to set the ice because it sets up faster. The last time when I did it and I did it with all UV resin, it was messy. I used up the whole bottle and I didn't have any fingerprints after. And that's because I wasn't smart enough to put on gloves and I was trying to hold it and cure it at the same time and it was curing to my hand and I ended up fingerprintless. So I like the hot glue method better. Um, and then I just cure it with UV resin once I finish. So I'm finished laying all the ice on the first layer. I drizzled some UV resin over the top and now I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And curing this is securing it even more and it's sealing the cracks so when you wash it water won't get down in there so now i'm going in with my top layer i like a lot of ice and i move to the bigger cubes to use for the second layer now i bought this hot glue from michael's i do not like it it was the stringiest hot glue i've ever seen in my life And we'll be trying the Gorilla Glue hot gun, hot glue sticks the next time because this art, whatever brand it was that I bought from Michaels is just not working for me. It's very stringy. It was taking a long time to set. So now I'm just making sure that I didn't cover up my straw hole. The straw still fits and I'm filling in little pieces trying to achieve the look that I want and like I said I like a lot of ice I like the full look so I'm going in with the ice And I like for the ice to come around the front of the straw. So I like this straw to stick up through the ice. So that's what I'm doing now, placing my ice around the front of the straw. And 
Now this isn't the actual straw for this tumbler, so the actual straw will stick up a little bit higher. And on this topper, the, they just want ice, so I won't be placing any fruit on this one. So I'm just going in now, filling in with little small pieces. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm trying to remove all the strings. I tell you, this was the stringiest hot glue I've ever seen in my life. Now I'm going to seal with UV resin. And we're going to cure for about 60 seconds. Well, actually, I'm going to cure this top coat for about 90 after this first one, I'm going to do it again and cure it some more. So now I've cured it twice. This is the finished result. And there's my brand on the bottom of the topper. I love the acrylic blanks. Um, I think I will be doing them with acrylic blanks from now on. I won't be pouring any epoxy into car coaster molds. Just bought a whole bag of acrylic blanks for around less than $20. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, you guys.